our Teacher of the Year two years ago. Wow. You may also know that she brings many of the cool animals to our environmental center on campus and takes care of our chicken coop, prairie, and courtyard. But did you know she's got another talent for comedy? Let's hear it for Mrs. Carrie Jones with a comedy routine on The Life of a Teacher. Good evening, you know me. My name is Mrs. Jones, also known as Farmer Jones, and I am a teacher. The other night I was with a group of friends and it got kind of loud in the room and I yelled out, level one. <laughs> However, there was one man who was still at a level three. So I resorted to giving him the look. <laughs> I don't think my pastor really appreciated that. <laughs> and then there was a time the other day that we were at a restaurant and you know how they get the kids the little crayons to color in their menus and it wasn't long before we got seated and I looked over and the little boy next to me was coloring his crayon wrong and before my girls my own girls could say mom don't do it <laughs> I was over there. I got his hand. I turned the crayon right. I turned his paper right. I looked up at his mom and she looked all like this. I said, it's all right. It's cool. I've got it. I'm a teacher. You know, as teachers, we can't even go to bed at night without thinking about school. It often takes over our dreams. It sometimes comes to us like the ghosts of school years past. And it sounds something like this. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. We hear our names so many times it comes back to us. However, hearing our names can make us feel special, and teachers are special. Do you know we have colors? We went to a great workshop this summer, and right before school started, and we found out that we have different personalities. <laughs> yeah, our principal wanted us to learn about each other so we can all get along in peace <laughs> and harmony. We found out a lot. We found out that there are the goals. Oh, goals. They are the rule followers. They are on top. They have their bulletin boards up before everyone else. And they are the majority of the teachers. And then you have your blues. Oh, the blues. They are they love everybody. They are so touchy-feely. And they sometimes wear their feelings on their sleeves. However, they are so sweet. Mrs. Dyer. <laughs> and then you have the Greens. The Greens are very intellectual. However, they're not very chatty. <laughs> and then finally, you have the Orange. The Oranges. Oh, okay. there's only 2% of teachers who are orange. 2%. And guess what? I'm an orange. <laughs> Alright, what does that mean? It means you can have a zoo in your classroom and no one cares. <laughs> However, I have been approached by the principal with questions like this. Mrs. Jones, do you have any idea why there is a horse on our campus? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> However, it does support the TEKS, and the TEKS is our Texas curriculum. Do you know it has numbers and letters, and we are to follow them? So how does having my snakes Rabbits, chickens, turkeys, ducks, gerbils, guinea pigs, bearded dragons, horses, goats, and etc. 
aligned to the teeks? Well, there's three ways it aligns to the teeks. The first way, teak number 3.7 XYZ. <laughs> Life cycles. I was doing, uh, I was hatching chicks in my classroom one year, and the last batch of chicks were not doing too well. And so it came time to do our spelling test, and I said, students, get back to work. We must do our spelling test. I covered the chicks up. We got to question number three, and Anissa raises her hand, and she says, this might be random, but if the chicks are not going to make it, can we watch the snakes eat them? <laughs> <laughs> Reason number two, teak number 3.9 XYZ. Inherited traits. We do life cycles with mice, and I was explaining to the students that we were going to take the male and the female and breed them and track the offspring, and then we would switch the males and the females and see what offspring we got. At which I had one of my boys yell out, that sounds like life swap. <laughs> <laughs> and reason number three, that it aligns with the Texas Teeks. Well, just because. <laughs> I am a teacher because I am an orange teacher. Thank you.